The EU released a new policy that will block all future financial assistance from the EU to the Israeli settlements built within the 1967 borders, which remains illegal under international law. The EU will release the guidelines of the ban on Friday, along with an implementation strategy, which is said to include a full ban on 28 European countries from having any financial dealings with the settlements. Israel immediately opposed the directive, warning it will affect all realms of cooperation with the EU. Benjamin Netanyahu held an emergency meeting concerning the EU's decision. However, the EU's decision was welcomed by Palestinian human rights groups and the Palestinian Authority. I think finally we have something, some positive and uh, progressive position from the EU towards the settlements. The most important is the implementation of that. Our problem with the, with the EU, with different international organizations, that they might have good decisions, but at the end there is a problem with the implementation of these decisions. Shema continued to state that they are not skeptical about the issue. However, it is important to maintain pressure on the EU to implement their decision. I think this is a significant uh, decision, which also help uh, the international community to contribute to the peace process and the political process between the Palestinians and the Israelis. I think this major decision will uh, promote the political situation by having uh, an international uh, power uh, forming uh, a decision that would help the Palestinians also to reach their independent and coherent state based on the lands that has been occupied in 1967 with East Jerusalem as a capital of state of Palestine. Pesos have further stated that this initiative will be taken seriously by the Palestinian Authority, who will assert pressure on the EU to implement the policy. He stated that it will furthermore allow the Palestinian Authority to have a serious international agenda to bring the peace process back on track. However, as the EU is to release details of the ban, the Israeli authorities have given the green light to create the construction of 1,071 new settler homes in order to expand six West Bank settlements. They have granted approval for 339 homes in Galgal and Al Mog settlements in the Jordan Valley, alongside the northeast of Jerusalem, Ramallah, and the West Bank's biggest settlement, Modin Elite, which houses the largest community of 58,000 Orthodox Jews. These settlements remain illegal under international law and the Fourth Geneva Convention. Human rights groups state that the EU's banning of 27 blocks against having any financial dealings with the settlements is a good start, but not enough, as they continue to strengthen their economic ties with Israel and take no punitive measures against their continued human rights abuses against the Palestinians. Nell Burden for Press TV, Occupied Ramallah.